hi guys how are you doing and welcome back to my channel welcome to dr venus channel if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe like and share so today guys i will be discussing some topics in obstetrics and gynecology so let's get started calculating EDD and EGA okay first of all I'm sure some of you are just wondering what is LMP what is EDD and what is EGA okay so LMP is last menstrual period EDD is estimated delivery date EGA is estimated gestational age EDD is quite straightforward so let's start from the simplest one right Okay, so EDD. So how do you calculate the EDD? Now you ask the patient, Madam, when was the last menstrual period? Don't go saying LMP. The patient doesn't know what LMP is. So you have to break it down. And then you're like, oh, when last did you see your menstruation or your menstrual period? And then she'll be like, oh, I'm not sure. Oh, maybe sixth or fifth. I'm not sure. So now most of them don't really know when exactly. So some actually feel it was the last day. But usually it's the day the menstruation started. So you need to ask her, when exactly did you start? Not when it ended. So most of them don't really know, like I said earlier. So that's why it's estimated. So let's say for instance, she said 5th of January, right? 2022. So how would you calculate it? So usually the formula is LMP plus seven days plus one year minus three months. Or basically LMP plus seven days plus nine months. Okay, so now 5th of January, 2022. So that's 5th, which is five plus seven days plus nine months. So five plus seven, that's 12 plus nine months okay so now from january to the next nine months then you count so that's february march april may june july august september october nine months so that means her edd would be 12th of October 2020. So now remember, it's not likely that this woman would definitely deliver on that particular day, let's say about three to five days before 12th of October 2023, she's likely to fall into labor or probably days after. So there's always a plus and minus. Okay, so let's move on to EGA, okay, estimated gestational age. Okay, so now a woman comes into the clinic and you need to book her, right? So the first thing after getting the LMP is to calculate the EGA. So now the EGA before the EDD, but because the EDD is simpler, I decided to calculate that first of all, you know, not to confuse you guys. Okay, so let's go to the more complicated one. So when a woman comes in and she's about three weeks, five weeks, you can't really measure. Okay, so there's something we call the SFH. So you can't do that because definitely the abdomen is not really protruding. So you need to calculate the EGA. So that gives you an idea of the age of the pregnancy. Okay, and for instance, she might not even have done a scan, so you wouldn't know. So you ask her the same question. When was your last menstrual period? And then she goes, oh, I'm not sure. So we use the same example, 5th of January, 2022. So now you need to calculate the EGA. Trust me, you need to get your pen and a piece of paper to calculate this because you have to do it manually. So the first thing you do, so for EGA, every three months, counts as 13 weeks our lmp is 5th of january so 
February, March, and April, the three months are counted as 13 weeks. Okay, so now keep 13 weeks somewhere. Now let's move on to May and June. But in this case, we have just May and June, two months. So we have to calculate manually because it's not up to three months. So in May, there are 31 days and in June, there are 30 days. In 31 days, that's how many weeks? That's four weeks and three days. Okay. Now, add the four weeks, three days to your 13 weeks. That makes 17 weeks plus three days. Okay. Then let's bring in June. Because today is the 24th of June. So it means 24 days. So let's convert 24 days to into weeks. That's three weeks plus three days. 17 weeks plus three weeks. That will be 20 weeks. And then the three days and three days. That's plus six days. So all together, there are 20 weeks plus six days. Now remember the five from the 5th of January because there are 31 days in January so you subtract 5 from 31 remaining 26 days okay so we have to add up this 26 days to the number of weeks we already have so that will be 20 weeks plus 6 days plus 26 days okay so now let's add up the days that's 26 days plus 6 days will give 32 days so now let's convert this number of days into weeks so that will be 4 weeks plus 4 days so let's add up the weeks remember we already had 20 weeks plus the four weeks making 24 weeks plus the remaining days which is four days so it means the ega is 24 weeks plus four days yeah that's it okay so i would like you to try calculating this same EGA okay so remember the LMP is 5th of January 2022 I would like you to do it step by step just like the way I have taught you and then see if you would arrive at the same number of weeks and number of days okay so guys that will be all but if you have any questions you can leave in the comment section or if you just have maybe any of the EGAs that you would like to calculate. If anyone is confusing, you can put in the comment section and probably I may come back next time to calculate all of my EGA. But I hope it was really simple and not confusing. And don't forget to subscribe, like and share. See you guys. Have a great day. Bye.